Hi, everyone. Welcome to this introductory lecture to Excel, one of the most popular spreadsheet programs used for data analysis and management. My name is Dr. Wendy Pierre. I have more than 20 years of experience in teaching Excel and science courses. I will be your guide and instructor for this lecture. Again, welcome to our course. Hi, guys. Welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to merge two columns in Excel without losing data using concatenation or concat. So for that, we need to follow some steps. These are these steps. Okay, we will see these steps after doing it practically. First of all, let's do it practically and then we will see it one by one. As we did in the previous lecture, we will go to Excel. We will repeat the same process. Now that Excel is open, so I already have some data in column A and in column B, and I want to merge them in column D. I simply put equal to sign and we'll just write concat. And then I'll use this bracket and I will just select the column. The cell I want to merge A1 and this comma and this mark in a space. Then again, this mark in a comma and I'll select the other column which I want to merge and I'll just simply close the bracket and then press enter. It will automatically be merged here. And if I want to repeat this for the other cells, I'll just simply drag it. So here, to record the data, to save the data, to save these names, I'll just simply copy them. And here I will just paste them and their value. We need to see that I'm pasting it by their values. Now, in case I want to delete this column, this data will be affected, but this will remain the same. So, so these steps are also shows this whole process. So, first of all, open the Excel worksheet and select the cell where you want to start the merge column. Type the formula that is equal to concatenation or concat A1 and this comma, then this space and then comma again and B1. In the cell, this formula combines the value in the cell A1 and B1 with a space in between. Then we have to press enter to confirm the formula. The merge value will appear in the selected cell. Copy the formula down to the rest of the cell in the column by clicking and dragging the lower right corner of the cell. So these are some of the steps. Now here is a short note, which says that you can customize the formula based on your requirement. For example, if you want to use a different separator instead of space, you can replace the space with the desired separators such as comma and hyphen. So that is all for this video, and we will see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.